Hi, today we're going to talk about the professional grade stretchy bars that we sell at Jackson's. Um, they come in three depths. We've got the 43mm depth, 21mm depth and also the 18mm depth. I'll start with the 43mm depth. They're cut slightly differently to the other two depths. They've got a um, slightly raised edge here which allows you to stretch the canvas over it and when you paint if you've got sufficient spring in the canvas you won't get an imprint of the stretcher bar coming through from the back. Um, they're cut with this 45 degree angle with the reinforcement just behind and a triangle here with a, a groove here. So they literally slot together like a jigsaw but a very tight jigsaw I must say because they need that tightness in order to keep sturdy and keep square as well. So what you do is you get one bar and you literally slot it in like this. And what I like to do is I like to um, slot it in as far as I can by hand and then make the rest of the stretcher frame before I get a piece of wood and literally hammer the, um, the wood into shape so that it's sl sliding in and then what you get is an edge where the wood is actually flush and you get the, um, the two bars sitting into place. Once they're into place, um, these angles will meet and it should, be, uh, it should be square on then, but you can test that and I'll show you how later. Moving on from that, we're going to the 21mm uh, uh, depth bars, and these are slightly different. I'll just show you. The ends are cut differently, so um, one end you'll see, you've got a 45 degree angle, like a triangle. This bit's really thin, so be careful with it. And you've got a, a wooden reinforcement here and a slight gap at the back. On the other end of the bar, you'll see that it's completely square. Um, it's got a little <coughs> gap in the middle, but the two ends on either side are completely square and many people get confused by this but just to let you know that this is normal um, and it's a really clever design. The bars, much like the 45 degree, do take into consideration that people don't want their stretch bars coming through when you paint over the, uh, over the bar, you don't want the, that imprint. So they are cut with a slightly bevelled edge which just allows you to have that so the, the canvas when you stretch it will form a tight drum just over that far, far edge there. Um, they slot together, again it's a tight squeeze but it's, that's to make, make sure that they keep square. Um, so you want your triangular edged end to meet your square end. So if I just show you here, you just slot it in and it's just a case of just gradually kind of coaxing it through. You'll get to a point where you can't do it anymore, so you kind of do it as much as you can with your hand, and then you make the rest of the frame, and then again you hammer it into place and make the ends flush. I'll show you one that I've done earlier. This is one where it's completely flush. And you can see on the ends here. And once you've made your frame, you'll want to test the angle, make sure it's definitely a 90 degree angle. That's really important because if you go on to frame your painting, you'll need to um, make sure that that's square, otherwise it's very difficult to frame. Um, ideally you'd use a, a T-square, but um, I am going to use a CD box just because I usually have one closer to hand. And you literally, you put it into the corner, and if there's any kind of a gap, with this one there's a tiny millimetre gap here, so I would need to hammer this bit in a bit more and you would then get your 45 degree angle. If you do that on all, all angles, then, you're, then you'll get a perfectly square cap, uh, stretch bar. Both of the stretcher bars have um, centre bar slots when required. The centre bar is good for helping you carry and transport the paintings once they're dry, but that it's also good for extra reinforcement. With the 43mm bars, they're fairly sturdy anyway, so chances are you'll need them more for transportation rather than reinforcement. But the centre bar slots come up on lengths of 80cm or more, and the bars go up to 2 metres long, so you can have a huge canvas. The 21mm 
depth bars have centre bar slots on lengths of 26 inches or more and that just allows you for that extra reinforcement which is important with the, with the thinner bars because they are less sturdy. And that's my demonstration of the stretch bars, thank you.